Hello, happy Monday. <clears throat> okay, I'm trying something new tonight with my um, Facebook. So hopefully everything gets started okay. I am going to check and see. All right. If I can see, I noticed when I am live, I am not able to see the hearts and the likes going across the page. So I thought that I would see if I could watch here. So let me see, I might have to mute this. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Vicki. Thank you for sharing, Melanie. Yes, I have a goal. My friends, I want to get 20 shares tonight. So let's see if we can do this. If you share my video, you are helping me to reach my goal. And I'm super, super happy and excited about that. Um, so thank you, Melanie. As all of you pop on, say hello i see a lot of you saying hello already i love it also if you tell me where you're from one of my very favorite things to do after my live is to go through and see where everyone is watching from so i love to do that hi marcia um let's see who else said hello cindy oh my goodness now i'm watching on my facebook page so that if you show me some love and you hit the likes and you hit the loves as I make my cards, then I can see, oh, someone just did it. I can see those flying across the screen. The way I was doing it before, I couldn't see it at all. And I was always looking like, no one's hitting the like button. That makes me really sad, but um, they were hitting it and I just wasn't seeing it. So, <clears throat> hi, Julie, hi, Jody. hi, Sandy. Oh, Sandy, I love to see Marshfield, Wisconsin on there. My hometown is Wisconsin Rapids, and I have some very, very good friends that live in Marshfield, and I miss them. Um, I used to work in Marshfield, so love to see places close to my heart popping up there. Hi, Denise. Oh, and Melanie's in Arizona. It's still sunny. I left my shades open for you guys tonight so that you could see my beautiful country view and see why I call my um, business country cards by Rose, because when I'm making cards, I'm always looking out at this gorgeous view of the country, and I absolutely love it. For those who are new to my channel um, or my Facebook page and watching me, my name is Rose Grunewald. I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! I'm stamping with you tonight in my fabulous stamping studio here in New Holstein, Wisconsin. I'm super excited to be here. I made my lives on Monday because Monday is everyone's like least favorite day of the week and I thought let's turn Monday into something fun. I see some new names that I haven't seen here before. Hi Kathy from Michigan. Julie, hello. And I see some familiar ones. Kay and Robin, thank you so much for watching. Um, Kathy, my husband and I just bought land in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan this last summer, and we are so excited to get back up there. We are turning it into our dream. So, okay, tonight I am featuring Oval Occasions Bundle. This one is super easy to overlook in the catalog. Um, so I'm going to show you some pretty cards with that. For sure we're making two cards, but... I prepared a third one just in case we have time. Um, before I get started, one really quick announcement. I just want to remind you guys that my um, many messages class to go, today's the last day to pre-order. And I actually have, give me a minute here because I got to find them. But I have a sneak peek at some of the cards that you get to make in that class. 
So um, with this class, you get to make um, 10 cards. So you'll make two of each of five designs and a bonus box to hold all your many messages. Um, and they're pretty awesome. So like here is a sneak peek of one of the cards you get to make. You also get a quarter pack of the well-suited designer series paper. Here's another one. Um, and some of the well-suited twine and um, all of that good stuff. You get a quarter pack of Peony Garden, which I used last week. Um, so if you are interested in that class, um, today is the very last day that you can order that. So don't miss out. Um, okay, I think it's time for prizes. So let me flip my camera around here. Oh, Sandy asks how my husband's doing. That's so sweet of you, Sandy. He is doing absolutely great. He went back to... It was nice for him to have that time off, uh, but he's ready to get back at it. And um, yeah, he got to relax a little bit while he was off. So hi, Kathy. Hi, Arliss. Hi, Doris. Long time no see. All right. Um, prizes. We've got likes and comments. And look, I have, these are cards that I made on previous lives. These are from my prize bin. These were not claimed. So when I call your name for a prize, I give you two weeks to claim it. These have been unclaimed for a lot longer than that. And um, the winner of my first prize for liking and commenting is going to get all of these cards all of them. So um, this is from my unclaimed prize um, pile. And we made these in our lives there. I'm trying to count them. There are eight of them here. So um, the winner of this, this is for likes and comments, is Kathy Brost. And I saw Kathy's name on here. Is Kathy there? Yeah, she is watching. So congratulations, Kathy. I need your address, so if you could send me um, an email at countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com, or you can send me a private message, I will get these out in the mail to you, um, hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday. <clears throat> and for sharing, tonight I have a goal to get 20 or more shares. That's my goal. So um, if we reach that, I'm gonna give away a double sharing prize next, um, the next time that I'm live, which won't be next week because we'll be in Florida. I have a not live ready to go for you. But the week after that, I'm gonna do a double prize if I reach my sharing goal. So everyone who is watching right now, take a minute and hit that share button and share this on your wall. Makes my heart happy when you share, I get to, my small business. So for my sharing prize, I've got the two cards we made last week. Remember this pretty gatefold card? Remember we made this with all of our extra designer series paper that we have kind of floating around in our little packet that we don't know what to do with all the time or to use up some of those bigger chunks of it. And then our cute little attitude -y chicken card. He's just like walking around like he is big stuff. Um, and then I also have a package of the super springy, super fun opal rounds. These are from the spring catalog, one of my favorite embellishments. And the winner of this is Sonia De Silva for sharing. So congratulations, Sonia. Um, I do not have your address either, so if you could send me a private message or um, an email at countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com, I will get those in the mail to you. So, ooh, Carol says I keep cutting out. Um, curious if anyone else is hearing that as well. So let me know if we're having issues with the sound. Um, okay, tonight.
if you overlooked this little gem in the spring catalog, I'll turn on another light so you can see a little easier. Um, <clears throat> look trick for spring cards. It's got a lot of really great sentiments that will go with any occasion. So you've got some happy ones, a happy birthday, a thank you, time to celebrate. Sweet friend is a really great generic. Treat for you if you make little treat boxes or even if you did a gift card. Um, and hugs and kisses. So I'm hearing I'm cutting out. And is it just my. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do too much about it, but. Um, Anyway, we're going to keep going. Hopefully it gets better. If not, then, oh, Julie, to close my extra thing and see if this helps. If I just go here. I had an update to the service that I used to do this, and I'm hoping that there are no issues with that. <clears throat> so, um, sorry, hopefully you guys can catch the gist of what I'm saying. I'm seeing people drop off, which has me nervous that maybe it's troublesome. But anyway, um, a lot of really good sentiments. And the cool thing about this is right now with that pretty butterfly, um, brilliance bundle, remember this, there's no sentiments in here. So this is a really great one to pair with it so all right we're gonna start out with yeah i see people saying it's cutting out and i see a lot of people dropping off everything's looking okay on my end okay thank you melanie i closed an extra window that i had going on so i think that that had something to do with it <clears throat> All right, so for our first card, we are using some fun springy colors. Okay, first of all, I just need to share with you. Do you see how my nails match my paper? Oh my gosh, they are like mint macaron, how fun. Okay, um, and I'm gonna use some dyes that I bought from the spring catalog that I haven't had a chance to play around with, so. Okay, now I am all, whew, everyone seems to say it's doing better now, so that's good. All right, this is a scrap that we're going to use, and this is a scrap we're going to use. Let me move these. Okay, so measurements, let me go through those first. I have a piece of mint macaron. And um, this is just a half a piece of cardstock, five and a half by eight and a half. And we're just gonna fold this and get this ready to be our card base right away. Oh, awesome. Everyone's saying it's better. So glad to hear that. I do think it's because I had my other Facebook open to try and see those likes and hearts. <sighs> okay, I've got a panel for the inside. This is just a piece of basic white, four inches by five and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of gorgeous grape. This is three and one eighths inch by four inches. And then a piece of the Butterfly Bijou um, Designer Series paper. I had a bunch of these chunks floating around, so that's what I ended up using. And this piece is just three and three quarters by three. So I'm gonna set this aside. The first thing we're gonna do is some die cutting. So in this, these are called the Stitch with Whimsy dies. We've got all sorts of different sizes here. And I'm gonna pick, not this biggest one, but this next biggest one. And what we're gonna do is cut this out on our card front. Ooh, someone loves a double over punch. Sharon loves the double oval punch. You know, I have been using it more and more. 
if we have time for my third card tonight, I'm going to show you something um, cool to do with it that maybe you didn't think of. I mean, it's not like earth shattering or anything, but just a fun layout that you might not have thought about. All right. I am going to crank this through my big boss. And you're going to see that this creates a little stitching around the border of our card, just like that. You see that? Isn't that cool? I'm trying to shine the light on it here so you guys can get a good view. So it looks like stitching without having to create a layer. I think that's super cool. <clears throat> and I haven't used these nearly as much as I would like to, but I really love them. All right. So let's put away here quick. Now we've got our card base and I've got this piece of designer series paper. And what I'm going to do now is on the long side, the three and three quarter side, I'm going to cut these into strips at one and one quarter. So each strip will be one and one quarter by three. So I'm going to line this up on the right side of my guide here to one and a quarter inches. and cut those. So we're left with three strips. Now, if you didn't have a piece big enough to cut like this and you just had some of these random smaller pieces, you could definitely mix and match for the technique that we are using here. And we've got our gorgeous grape piece, that a reminder that was three and an eighth by four. Oh, Jody loves those dies. They are awesome. I love them. All right, and I'm going to do some gluing. So, right. I'll show you my little tip. I want these lined up in the center. So, what I'm doing is I'm watching the border here on the top and the bottom, and I'm leaving that much border on the side. so that I know that that is centered like that. And then I'm gonna do the same on the far right side of the card. So this is just a little tip for getting these centered. So I line up the bottom and the top, make sure I've got the same amount of border and eyeball that up so that, oops, now I pushed it over. It matches on the right side. And if you do that right, this third piece will fit perfectly right in the center. So that's my little tip for this. Just like that. And what we have is that gorgeous grape just peeking through in between those strips. So you can see if you had a coordinating color that that would work really awesome. Okay, let's do some stamping. I have got these fun hearts and um, oh, I think I grabbed the wrong ones. I want the stars. Yes, these stars. And I've got my mint macaron here. And I'm going to create a little bit of kind of layering look here by stamping these stars here off the edge of the card. And I'm not entirely sure how much space the layer is going to take up. So I'm making sure to go far enough into the center of my card that we won't see a break in the stars. Okay, next we have my favorite 
these days. I gotta grab some water. My throat's a little sore with the change of seasons. And some allergies going on here. <clears throat> um, this is from the Snail Mail Twine Combo Pack. And I'm going to wrap this around. Actually, first, before I do that, let me grab my ribbon. I've got this tool polka dotted ribbon. And I'm going to wrap that around my layer. And tape that in the back. So just getting those little polka dots on there, adding a little bit more depth and dimension. No one's going to see the back, so I just like to tape it. And I just have like a normal old tape dispenser that I'm using to do that. So one little tip to add a little bit of extra layering and kind of texture and dimension to your projects is to double layer your ribbon. This works really, really well, especially if you have like a baker's twine. Um, <clears throat> and you can pair that with a coordinating wider ribbon. And I do this actually quite often if you go back and watch some of my videos. And it just has a really unique um, look to that layout, those layers. So I'm gonna tie this in a bow. I got my ends plenty long here, doing my best not to twist, but that is easier said than done, we know. And I'm going to trim some of this off, but not too much just yet because I may need some extra. Okay, you with me so far? We've got our big wide layer and then our skinnier twine kind of over the top of that. All right, now I have got my double oval punch. And I am going to punch the scalloped edge out of a scrap of gorgeous grape. And I'm going to punch the oval out of a scrap of mint macaron. And we're going to do some stamping again. I've got these stars. And I'm going to stamp off and then stamp on my layer and stamp off and stamp on my layer. So the stars are going kind of diagonal across that oval. Next, I'm coming in with my gorgeous grape and we're gonna stamp the happy birthday in the center. So happy birthday. Just like that. All right, now, where's my glue? Here we go. Glue our mint macaron layer to our gorgeous grape oval, like so. And we are gonna start assembling this. So grab my dimensionals. I'm gonna pop this layer up on dimensionals. These little dimensional backs get everywhere. Hi Robin, thanks for sharing. I so appreciate that. Remember, I'm doing double the prizes if I can reach my goal of sharing um, of sharing uh, 20 is my goal. 
Okay, got that put on here. We've got those stitches just popping out over the outside edge of my layer. And then I'm actually gonna layer this right on top of my bow. So get a couple of dimensionals here. I wanna line this up. So I'm gonna go here and here. Okay, happy birthday right on top of our bow. So it's peeking out behind. And now we are gonna stamp the inside. I am just going to do some more mint macaron stars across these diagonal edges. like so. Really simple. We're going to leave the inside pretty um, empty so that we can put whatever we want in there. Write a nice little note to our, our friend. Um, let's see. And now I'm going to glue this on the inside. Now there's really two ways that you can do these dies. So for this one, I use the smaller die and they're just barely peeking out around that card front layer. And there's our inside. I also use the larger dies and you can see more of a border near the outside edge of the card like that. <clears throat> so, you can decide which one you like better. But that is our first card. Completed already. Pretty simple, but really cute, don't you think? I love this card. All right. Let's get cleaned up here. and get ready to make our next card. Are we ready for card number two? Oh, you know what? I didn't bling this one up. I should bling it up real quick here. Um, let's see what do I have in here. Ooh, I think these would be fun. And actually I've got a piece open here. So let me, these are the pastel pearls. And I moved my desk around a little bit. I'm still getting a little used to it. I'm gonna take these darker pearls, like so. There, we blinged it up. Cute. Oh, thank you, Melanie. You know, I haven't used mint macaron at all hot minute so it was kind of nice because that's one of my favorite colors as you can tell by my fingernails um so it was kind of nice to play around with that and this one I popped up that extra oval but it felt like a little bit too much popping up so that's why I just kind of glued it direct there all right so there's our first card complete on to card number two now this one, we're also gonna add our rectangular postage stamp. Um, I'm gonna quick clean up these stamps and set them aside in case we need to use those. All right, for this one, we're gonna use our hearts and the sweet friend stamp. We are playing around with just jade right now. And we're going to do a little embossing too. So I have got um, a half a sheet of cardstock for my card base. So this is five and a half by eight and a half. I fold it at four and a quarter. Get that edge nice and crisp. I got a scrap of so saffron 
we've got a piece of basic white for the inside, four by five and a quarter, and a piece of just jade for the front, four by five and a quarter. We're gonna emboss this here. And then I got this little strip. This is the strip that comes off when I cut down my half a cardstock sheet from five and a half down to five and a quarter. And we're gonna use that on this card. So save that. And I'm gonna grab my favorite from the spring catalog, painted texture, 3D embossing folder. Get my big boss out. Now with these 3D embossing folders, it tells you, oops, I dropped my plate here, give me a second. <laughs> okay. Oh, Kim asks a great question. Do you have a skinny case for embellishments or one of the thicker cases? This is a skinny one, just one of our normal stamp cases. And I, you can see I have a lot of them in there, so it works really, really great. Um, and you also love the green and purple together. I love those colors together. So as we're gonna emboss this layer, um, it tells us right here, using with 3D embossing folders, we use layer number one. Oh, here's layer number one and number four. Now, in my video that's coming out on Monday, my Make It Monday Not Live, I have a video premiering at seven o'clock since I can't be live. I'm gonna show you some tips um, for using your old 3D embossing folders from when Stampin' Up had the big shot and how you can use it with these layers. Because that's one thing that stumped me was figuring out how I could use those embossing folders and not have to replace them. So I'll tell you all about that on Monday, next week, in my video that'll be going, uh, posting on my page at seven o'clock at the normal time. Okay, we've got this layer embossed and it looks like textured paint. I absolutely love this and both sides look awesome does not matter which side you use. Okay, we are going to adhere this down to our card base. So get my favorite Stampin' Seal. You can hear those angels singing because it's so smooth. It's so quiet. I love using this runner. If you're not a runner, a glue runner person, that's okay. You can just use your liquid glue. I happen to like the stamp and seal. Some tips for you. If you are um, running this and you notice no glue is coming out, it might be that the glue is not on this tape runner and you can just kind of pinch your fingers here on this roller and move it forward. So that is one tip for using your seal if you have issues with that. Um, stamp and seal is not for everyone. I absolutely love it, but I was a liquid glue girl for many years and I still have my liquid glue here, but I just love the smooth of my stamp and seal. All right, now I have floating around in here many, many pieces of designer series paper. And this is the new Butterfly Bijou DSP. So with all these pieces and scraps kind of hanging out, I want to use them up because this paper is only available while supplies last. By the way, when you buy it from my online store, you get a special class to go. And I've been packaging up my classes for those who ordered it from me. A little sneak peek at what you get in the mail when you get these classes. I package everything nice and neat in little envelopes for you. All of your scrap pieces are packaged and tucked tightly in here. It comes in a nice tightly packed package. Um, so 
I just wanted to show you a little bit of the experience when you get one of my classes to go. Okay, so we've got all these scraps that we can choose from. Um, here's one. I'm picking out pieces that are kind of big enough for my rectangular postage stamp. Uh, we could use this one too. Any preferences here? I think, oh, and I have this one, because this one's been punched out a little bit too. Um, I guess this one, let's see. So let me grab my postage stamp and I think I'm going to do, oh yeah, this is the back side of that one. I'm going to do this one. And uh, I like the little bit of yellow here with the orange. So I'm going to do that one. And then this pink looks kind of fun. I'll do this one. All right, just punching three out. Ooh, Melanie wants the pinks. I think that these are gonna go really nicely. We've got kind of a splash of color here. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to glue a couple of these down onto our card. Glue this one down. And I'm going to glue this one down. And then this last one, I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. Like so. Just like that. Okay, so we just got these random but coordinating pieces. Hi, Marge, welcome. <clears throat> okay, and now we have this little strip, remember? I'm gonna glue this down right in the center. Just like this. And it's okay that this piece is really long. We're gonna trim this up, just not yet. Okay, next, I'm going to grab my oval punch and I'm going to punch. This is so saffron. A scrap is so saffron. Um, and I'm going to grab my Just Jade and I want my so saffron here. So just like we did on our happy birthday, I am going to take these hearts and stamp them on this so saffron piece. Stamp off and stamp diagonal across this layer. This can go this way. So they're just in the background, kind of hanging out. All we're doing really is adding a little bit of texture and dimension to that layer. Ooh, it's hard to see in the light, but you can see them softly there. And then with our Just Jade ink, we are going to stamp our sentiment that says sweet friend. I'm gonna, yeah, it looked a little blotchy and I wasn't sure, so. There we go. Um, and you know, I'm like the queen of layering today, it seems like. <clears throat> so let's add even a little more texture and bring out that pop of white in that designer series paper with a little bow. Because like, I can't make a card unless I have twine or ribbon of some sort on it. I absolutely love pretty ribbon and twine. And I'm just going to make a little bow in my hand 
If you have a bow maker, you can do that, but this comes together pretty quickly for me. <clears throat> So just make a little bow. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to trim these ends off. And grab a glue dot. How are you liking all these layers? Do you guys do a lot of layering in your cards? I find sometimes that these very subtle layers really look wow when you put these cards together. All right, and now we're gonna pop up our sentiment here on dimensionals. I'm leaving a little, trying, whoops. Well, hopefully this will still work. I was trying to arrange it so that it was not going to be in the way of our bow. I think we did okay. Just like that. And then we're just gonna slide in here with our snips and trim off the ends of our little scrap. Now we gotta have some bling. So let me get out my bling case here. Oh, and you know what? I didn't even stamp the inside. So let's do that real quick. Um, let's do, um, just Jade. What I'm going to do here is some hearts across the bottom. There. Like our hearts are traveling across the bottom of our page. Oh, hi, Joanne. Welcome. Thanks for watching. Sounds like the notification didn't work so hot. I almost was late tonight. All of a sudden I looked, I'm like, oh my goodness, I better get this all set up. All right. <clears throat> so gluing this on the inside, bringing those hearts through, cute. And let's do our bling. Now that I lost my, here we go. I think to compliment, I got some of these, um, what are these called? I forget. These hearts, um, I got a whole package here. Resin hearts embellishments. And I think it'd be fun to bring out that pop of white. So I'm gonna grab these. I put a little heart here and here. And I think one right there. Yes, good thing we can replay. Sometimes I go kind of fast too, and if you wanna remake them, you just need to slow down a little bit as you're making each piece. Um, so the replay is a great feature. Thank you, Facebook, for that. Don't ever take that away from us. So there's our finished card. What do you think? Cute. Really, really simple, but like lots of layers. You got that little bow behind there. Um, here's one with, I used a few different pieces and the rhinestones, those rhinestone, um, the champagne rhinestones are really, really pretty. And they coordinate pretty well with the, the yellow tones and that so saffron and the pink tones too. So a couple different options. 
but that is our second card. So, do we have time for a third card? I had an idea for one that I kind of threw together right after work tonight. But I need to move some of this stuff out of the way so we have a clean crafting space. And I know, oh, thank you, you guys. That's so sweet of you all. I love your compliments. Thank you so much. That really makes my night when you are complimentary of the cards. I'm so glad that you're enjoying these projects. Totally makes my day. That's why I'm asking for your shares because I want creativity in everyone's lives. It's just so much fun getting to be creative and I'm super passionate about helping others to be creative. So when you share my videos, I so appreciate that. All right. I'm seeing a lot of yeses for one more card. So I'll do one more card. All right, this next one does do a little die cutting, but it also uses oval occasions. So I'm getting out my Brilliant Wings dies again. Kim, I work for a company in Appleton called US Venture. I lead the credit department there. Um, so my days are always very interesting and busy. Oh my goodness, so darn busy. All right, so here's what I have here. I haven't made this card, so we're doing a little stamping on the fly, but I have an idea what I would like to do. Um, and so to get ready for this, I have a strip of this I just grabbed from my basic white scrap stack. And we're gonna cut this down and everything. But I have a strip and I took my hole punch and I punched a hole in one end of this, like that. Oh, Robin, you made two of my cards, awesome. Those were fun folds and they were super easy to put together. So Robin's talking about, um, I was in a blog hop. Um, for the first time, Stampers Dozen Blog Hop, and these are the cards I featured on it. These cute fun folds that are super easy to make, um, but they definitely wow. And these are using all of the paper that's in my Many Messages class to go, and the uh, Many Messages dies. So it gives you some more ideas what you're going to be able to do with your paper that's left over after you make the card. Anyway, these are on my blog and my blog hop. It went live last night. Um, you can catch it at rosegrunewald.com if you haven't seen it. Thanks for that reminder, Robin. <clears throat> um, okay, so I got that scrap punch. I've got a piece of... Whisper white, this is a scrap because I gotta think about this here. Yes, these are my layers. So here's my inside layer, my normal four by five and a quarter. I've got a card front layer, um, four by five and a quarter. I have a scrap that I can't remember what I was gonna do with it. So it'll come to me as I'm stamping and um, my card base. So this is Highland Heather, and I haven't used this in a while. So, my normal half a sheet, five and a half by eight and a half. And I wanna emboss this layer. So let's see, let's get this out because I, think it would be fun to use mm, brick and mortar. That would be cool. Subtle. Subtle might be pretty and not take away too much from the card. So I think I'm going to use subtle. 
so this is, it looks like a 3D embossing. Paper. So let's see if we can figure this out. Um, I think this was one from one of my old, when I had my big shot. So when we are using the 3Ds that worked in there, we just need to cover it with a plate, not that gray thing. So let's see if this works. I just have to experiment a little bit. Let's see, how did this work? Ooh, totally did. Okay, awesome. So we have that. And I need to also do some die cutting. So let me grab this piece. And nope, not this piece. This piece. I'm going to use a Highland Heather. This is what Stampin' on the Fly looks like in my Stampin' space. I'm going to grab this big butterfly. And I'm going to die cut this. So let's put this through here. Again, I should have left it up. Now this is kind of a, I usually don't have to go through more than once, but I really want to make sure this cuts out because this is a intricate piece. Lots of little pieces. Right. Oh, it did pretty good. Clean this up later. Okay, we've got all these pieces that I just want to pop out real easy here. Oh, I just remembered. I think tonight is the finale of The Bachelorette. When I'm done, I'm gonna watch that. Does anyone else watch, or not Bachelorette, The Bachelor. Does anyone else watch that? Don't ruin it for me if you're watching it. Keep it a surprise. All right. Um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna glue this layer down on my card front. I wanna go right to the edges with this. So I'm going to grab my whoops, silicone mat to make sure that if I kind of go off the edge, I'm not getting glue all over my dust. What are you thinking of my stamping on the fly? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is usually what it looks like as I'm trying to put cards together. I didn't quite get this straight, but nothing's perfect when it's homemade, so that's okay. <sighs> um, what's next? This will go on the inside. And I gotta grab my oval punch. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Got my memento ink, and I'm gonna stamp this bunny and flowers. And let me line this up and make sure this is gonna work. Yep, I didn't know if I stamped it too close to the edge. Okay, now I'm gonna color these. So here I love little things like this that I can color. I'm not a big fan of really huge, um, really huge images to color, but I'm gonna use some blends. 
and I want the shading to look nice. So I've got dark, um, soft sea foam, and I'm going along the veins in these leaves. And then I'm going to use my light soft sea foam and finish in and blend. And I know that this probably seems like so small. Why are you even bothering with the blends? But I'm telling you, the shading totally makes a difference. Um, okay, for the inside of these flowers, I'm going to use my light daffodil delight. And for our flowers, I've got dark and light Highland Heather. So I'm going to just right along the center do that dark. And I'm really glad that these markers have this fine tip on it because I just used the fine tip. And then we're going to come in and fill in the rest with our light. Like so. And you really can feel the shading in it. See the shading in it. And now for our bunnies, I've got dark gray granite. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to like at the base of the ears and then kind of parts of the bunny that would be a little bit shadowed. Just outline a little dark, and then I fill back in with the light. So these small images like this are just my favorite to color with the blends. Um, I don't know about you. Do you like to use your blends on small images like this? I, I have the patience to keep up with coloring this versus some of those bigger like flowers and stuff. It's not that I don't like coloring, cause I mean, I do, but I need it to be not the same image or I get a little bit bored. There we go. And I'm gonna leave their tails white cause they bunnies have white fluffy tails. And gonna pop this out onto my punch. I'm using the scalloped oval for this, like so. <clears throat> okay, can you guys see this? I'm gonna make sure you get a good look. Let me bring in this light. Oh, I can't bring in this light, but I could try and bring in this one. How's that? Do you love that? Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, so, so darn cute. Okay, now my twine. Here's what I had in mind for this. I want to take my hugs and kisses and in Highland Heather, I hope that I don't mess this up because I don't want to have to redo. Okay, that's pretty good. Just got to say a little prayer that it's going to be straight, right? Okay, I've got my hugs and kisses, and then I think what I'm going to do is I want to snip this off into a banner. So what I like to do um, is snip up from the center with my snips, and then I come in from the bottom left corner, and then into that center piece from the bottom right corner. 
and you make a little banner flag. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now, it's time to put some of this stuff together. So, um, here's what I want to do. I want to pop this butterfly up on dimensionals. So I'm purposely using the edges. Can you believe it? Hi, Noel. Is it Noel or Noel? Hello. You're just in time to see my last card. I'm stamping on the fly. I have to be honest with you, this card is pretty similar to the card I'm making next Monday, but I've got a totally different color scheme and totally different overall look to it. Okay, so I'm going to put this butterfly down here up on dimensionals and I should have wrapped this around. Okay, I think what I'm going to do instead of wrapping it around the butterfly, I'm going to wrap this around the card front. So what I've done is just kind of wrapped it around in like the binding of in the crease of my fold. Uh, let me get this straightened out a little bit here. Just like this. So right kind of along the edge of our card, wrapped it in there. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is before I tie this in a knot. I'm going to stick this tag on here. So I'm going to stick this through the hole like so. Okay. And I'm going to do this up near the top. There we go. Okay, now. I'm going to come in and tie this. So, and then tie this in a bow. So, this is a little harder to tie than I thought it would be. So I am learning, I'm going to tie this in a knot so I don't have to hold that down. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, and of course my bow got twisted because I'm live and that's just how it's going to go, but that's okay. Trim the ends here of our bow. And you're probably wondering what the heck I'm going to do with this bunny. Well, I'm going to put it over the top of my little butterfly. And because this is popped up, I still have room for another layer. So I'll pop this up on dimensionals too. 
Noel, I had it right the first time. You know, Noel, that is my niece's middle name. And I absolutely love it. She was born around Christmas time. So her middle name is Noel, and I love it. I think it's so perfect. Okay, we're putting that little bunny right over the top of our butterfly, like so. So that's our card. I think we should add a little bling. Um, I'll do some of these pastel pearls again. What do you think? Do you like this? I'm gonna do these lighter ones this time. Like that. All right, friends, that is another night of Make It Monday in the books. I really hope you enjoyed my projects tonight. If you haven't shared my video, please take a minute and hit that share button. I have a goal of 20 shares. And if we reach that goal, I will give away double prizes in my next live. I lost my first card that I made. Oh, here we go. Some really pretty springy cards. What do you think? Do you love those? <clears throat> if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can shop my online store right on my website, www.rosegrunewald.com. My March 2021 host code is ADVD3TYA. Use that code if your order is under $150. That's what helps me get prizes for all of you. And if your order is over 150 bucks, skip the code because you will get some rewards from Stampin' Up. Uh, I want to make sure that you get those rewards. I send a hand stamp thank you to everyone who places an order with me. Also, just really quickly, don't forget, many messages class to go. Today's the last day. I'm closing it out tomorrow morning as soon as I wake up. So you can pre-order and still get in on the fun. Otherwise, um, I will not be live next week, but I will have a fabulous video for you to watch that I think you will really, really enjoy. I will be back live the following Monday um, so that we can stamp together. And hopefully by then I have 20 plus shares so I can give away some double prizes. Super excited. All right. Thanks so much for joining me this evening. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And if you're watching The Bachelor, don't spoil it. All right. Talk to you later, ladies. See you and gentlemen, if you're watching too. Okay. Bye.